Do you have pleasant dreams? I don't remember them, but the ones that are bad usually stand out. Here's some irony for your ass. I don't think I've ever had a pleasant dream. Mm-hmm. When people go, sweet dreams, I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'll say four nights a week, my dream is that I'm at SNL and Lauren is mad at me. Now, four nights a week. Four nights a week. This is going back 20 years. That is, is that, that not because insane? you're a super fan of the show? I'm a or super is fan it, of the show. Okay. Always knew someone there, mm-hmm. Mike Schur, Seth, a bunch of people. Like everybody. Somehow, I never, I didn't ever spend time there until Dave hosted in 2016. So, like, I'm not kidding. Four nights a week, I wonder, Lauren's mad at me. I and Lauren's never been mad at me. I wonder if Lauren is the representation of like the biz. It, I mind, think, basically, unequivocally, he is. And you feel like. At SNL is like you being the writer and outputting, or you being the Neil that yes. we all know you for something, and you're not doing enough, or you're not. Yeah, doing like it I'm right just in. Whatever. It's like a str- It's like high school. Yeah, it still baffles me. I don't even think talking to Lauren about it would help. Not at all, because I don't <laughs> think it has anything. I think it's all like a slightly metaphoric. It's like all. Me- it's all things, a metaphor right? for. It's just a, a stress dream. Yeah, it's like the most basic one, and your mind kind of sugar blanketed it and put it into an environment that you like. You know yeah, what I mean? and it's like, oh, well, this is how I can handle breaking down, as opposed to like the world pressures of like, how's my Netflix special doing, or how's yeah. this doing, or whatever. You can consolidate it and put it in a world where you can actually function and kind of see, or maybe kind of dissect what's happening without over panicking. Because like, if it's too big, you know what I mean, like. Yo, my numbers in Australia is low, yo. Like yep. that's enough to give anybody a heart attack. You worried about right. Australia? I'm like, I'm this fake sketch that I wrote isn't <laughs> gonna isn't working for this like whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's ever by the I have those too sometimes. Mm-hmm. I had a different one, a different genre that somebody some SNL people were in. Mm-hmm. What's your experience there like? It's a highly emotional, you know, fucking stress pot that. That Tell me pot about it. bubbles up to the I'm top. I'm there every night, bro. Yeah. For, for eight hours. <laughs> it's like starting a new pot every Monday, and it's going to boil over, and you know it by Saturday. But you, but what's you funny is you don't seem strike me as the kind of person who writes a sketch and then gets, like, might cry if it gets cut. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big crier anyway. Or whatever. Getting I've car had and very people. emotional like experiences with like you know your writing is very personal to you you know what I mean so anytime I put up something that is lame or it doesn't connect for whatever reason I'm like fuck man you know what I mean like it it doesn't feel good at all how do you ride out the downs you have to learn that that place is special and there will probably be a tomorrow you know what I mean like when it's the end of the season and you're looking back on your season and you've been fucking up and you're new. You know, that's grounds to be nervous, and there's kind of nothing for anybody right. to help you with that. But when you're in like season three and four and five, and you've been doing it for a while, you're still getting your shit cut. You gotta like start to separate, you know, the emotional attachment of your ideas to yourself, and just kind of just keep searching and fishing and working with others. You know, what what's I mean? funny blah, is blah, you're blah, like blah. the best and worst person to get advice from because mm-hmm. you'd be like, "Look, you're gonna be here twenty years." <laughs> yeah. Bro, look, you're gonna be there's a chance for you to be here like it's nothing. You know what I mean? There's yeah. always another show, blah, blah, blah. There's gonna be so many more. So, you're gonna get 400 it's shots. It's not like you're gonna like be I shown have. the door awkwardly at any given point. No, you you're not coming. gonna get replacement <laughs> season. That never remember. happens. You don't worry about to that. me. But I think that's kind of the best way to navigate the storm a little bit when you're in it there because those cuts are gonna happen and they're gonna happen a lot. You know what I mean? It's just Do what you... it is. Do follow ups, meaning you and Brian, the great Brian Tucker, who wrote on Chappelle Show, he pitched the racial draft and uh, player haters ball and something else that I'm forgetting, but like a great, a huge fucking help on Chappelle Show. Like, I think me and Dave owe him money. <laughs> <laughs> Um, meaning just he was like the only person really from the Charlie and Donnell and him were like the he ones. He says too. he gets someone recognizing him from I know black people like once a week still yeah. to this day. I, by the way, I do too. They think I'm him. Yeah. Which is Hilarious. just a look. That's, racism, that's racism, racism. Works, racism works both ways. That's racist. Yeah. White people look like all mm-hmm. the same to black. It's mm-hmm. fine. 
but what I what I'm curious about is they got Tucker goes they fucking cut it. Do you go what? Let me go talk to somebody, or do you just go ah eh, fuck it? A bit of both. Like sometimes, like when I feel strongly about it, I'm like, all right, so what's going on? Like why didn't why aren't we? You know what I mean? Is there anything that I can do differently? Can we try this again next week or whatever? Like I need more of a conversation. And sometimes I'm like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Like I saw that coming, or I heard it in the room. Like it just didn't connect. And, oh like, that's right. Fair. What if a sketch? But I've does. had a sketch get a standing ovation and get cut. You know what I mean? And I was really like kind of pissed about it. But don't let me gloss over praising Brian Tucker, by the way, because no, 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 no. everything Tucker, I've done what did great Tucker on that show, for you? It's it's dynamic. What up with that? It's the best. What's up with that? Black Jeopardy, Family Feud, you know, mostly anything, you know, black and kind of Yeah. And by the way, he's point. a white person's yeah. white person. Yeah. Look him up. Brian yeah. Tucker. I know black people. Yeah. He's He's a very yeah. a white man. Yes. Yeah. But he loves, you know, black culture and he writes, you know, comedically very well in that, yeah. you know, kind of direction. Get in rhythm. Yeah. And like I need that writing structure. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. have all of the reference material I need just growing up and watching what I've watched. But if I want to bring what I thought was funny about Dolomite or do you know, all those, you know, things I grew up on school days and like I have to, you know, formulate it a certain way. And then, like, some people might not have ever heard of Spike Lee, so I gotta like keep that in mind. I'm like, all right, yeah. well, if I'm going for this joke here, how do I get everybody on the same page from this point to that point? You know what I mean? And, yeah. Like, that's you know where he's filled those gaps in in my life. You know what I'm saying? Because up until that point, I was kind of struggling. What year was that? He came in. He came in '05. Oh, five. So I was like my second we, year. They there, put him on waivers. We didn't develop what's up with that until like my seventh year, something like that. So we which were doing was like, like oh, nine, one 10. offers or whatever. So yeah, I, that's what I always wonder with you, which is like, how do you weather the just the the emotions of it? Because I've worked at Siren Life for three weeks, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, nah, I'm good. That's when it's too much. You know what I mean? When it's a tight window like that, it's just yeah. like, oh, this is chaos. Right. Yes. Yeah. And also like, yeah, I didn't get like the like the whole season worth of like it had some ups and downs it was like i mean it's three weeks as opposed to 20 weeks you know? right we have yeah. 20 weeks and like, by the way it's three weeks over four years right so it wasn't like yeah it was a pressure rough. cooker every single time yeah it was like what you got what you got what you got yeah, nothing yeah. all right yeah thanks a lot for coming you no know, no no. Well, i had good do. shit that got whatever okay. i get it's a whole other argument yeah. but because of my ego from doing a show mm -hmm. it's like man you're not cutting my shit like you know what i mean like oh for sure like if you have a show and then you come to a place where you're like we decided, and you're like, oh. it was hard in my first season coming from Nickelodeon and all of that, like to not be utilized. Like, I remember getting, like, you know, I, I call it getting donutted where you don't get a sketch at yeah. all. You just got a big zero and you're not on the show at all that night. But yeah. You're there. Do you do good nights? You got to do good nights. You know what I mean? And like, that's good nights just is when tradition. they all stand and wave. Yeah. And if you've got nothing on, you just got to stand. And you got to stand there looking salty yeah. or crying or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, what am I doing this for? I'm very confusing. Like, I think I yelled at my manager, a guy who didn't deserve that at all. I was just like outputting towards somebody who happened to be there. Yeah. And what I realized was that nothing is coming out of this temper tantrum. Like, I still have to write a sketch that's going to work. Like, me being mad about last week doesn't make this funny that I'm trying right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you just have to learn how to, like, let it go. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen. <laughs>